Hello everyone, welcome to our online lesson. Today we will talk about first conditionals. That starts with the following situations. If the quarantine continues, we'll have more online lessons. If people don't follow the quarantine rules, it won't be over soon. If the pandemic stops, we'll be back to school. So if we look at this situation, are we talking about present or future here? What do you think? Right, you are. We're talking about future. Is it possible that this will happen in the future? Yes, it is possible. How probable is the if part? So what's your idea? It's 50-50. And what about will part or the second part? How certain is it? Yes, it's 100%. So, to sum up, we use the first conditional to talk about possible situations and probable results of actions. So, in the following sentence, if the quarantine ends, we'll have a lesson in the schoolyard. If the quarantine ends, as a possible situation, will have a lesson in the schoolyard is a probable result. Now, let's try to say first conditionals correctly. Very often, in everyday English, you will hear, instead of we will, short form of it, will. Now, listen to the following sentences carefully and try to repeat them after me. If the quarantine ends, we'll have a lesson in the schoolyard. If it rains, will use our umbrellas. As you've paid attention, will is weak here. Unlike the following sentence, if it rains, we won't have a picnic there. The negative form of will is stressed and is strong in the sentence. Let's look at this example. If we inform people, we'll save time and resources. As you see, we have if plus subject plus present simple and in the second part we have subject plus will or won't plus infinitive. Now let's have a look at the following sentences. Sentence A. If everyone joins the stay home campaign it'll make a big difference. And sentence B. It'll make a big difference if everyone joins the stay home campaign. What's the difference between these two sentences? Yes, there's a comma in sentence A. So, if the if part comes first, we separate it with a comma. When if part comes in the second place, there's no comma used in the sentence. Now let's have some practice. As you see in the example, you have to choose between the two options. Now you can pause the video and try to do the task on your own, then play and check your answers. So, are you ready to check your answers? So it's amazing but true, if we stay home, we'll save the world. She publicise the climate change if she boycotts the big companies. Will you support my campaign if I tell you about it? Supermarkets won't change their policy if few people go on the march. Let's have some more practice. Use the verbs in brackets in the appropriate form. Again, you can pause the video, try to do the task on your own, and then check your answers. So, are you ready? If he supports us, we'll win. Or you can write, we will win. If, he, if we ask people, a lot of them will volunteer. She'll boycott the shop if it sells violent video games. People won't know about it if we don't organise a meeting. If you ban cuts from the town centre, the shopkeepers won't be happy, but the air will get cleaner. That was all for our online lesson. See you at the next one.